Hey guys, Dave here from Wolf in the Wild Survival. I just spent the day roaming around the woods, doing some videos, enjoying myself, having a pretty good time. And uh, I thought, hey, you know what? Why not do a video about my camera bag? You know, I mean, it might not be the most exciting video, but hey, maybe... Uh, Maybe somebody might want to watch. I don't know. Um, either way, it's something for me to do instead of going home. So let's have a look at my camera bag. Now, first of all, I I, I know it, it kind of looks military and it might be some sort of military issue, you know, kind of where I honestly have no idea. I, I bought this bag off of somebody that I kind of know and they said they got it from an army surplus store um, I just I, I had a smaller one when I had less camera equipment I started getting you know some more stuff together the smaller bag kind of blew apart I needed a bag and I got this one I, I honestly don't know anything about it um, if, if you know what this is by the looks of it, or, you know, kind of whatever, yeah, let me know. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Um, okay, so it's I put a, uh, a pouch, like an Expedition knockoff, on the outside of it. And uh, other than that, it's it's like just one, one kind of, you know, pouch. It's got a divider in the inside, then something in the top. Um, sort of a mesh, and... My watch is coming off. I'm really starting to hate this watch. I'm going to get it better. Uh, it's internal frame, basically. It's, it's, it's got like one metal, you know, uh, thing that goes down the center. It's all padded and, you know, kind of whatever. So... If you can call that an internal frame, it's an internal frame. Um, it's got the sternum strap, and it actually, you know, it, it has the, the belt strap, um, but part of it seems to be missing. I didn't realize that. I took this out camping with me uh, last week, and now I seem to be missing the other half of the belt strap. So I'm really hoping that's in my truck or at home rather than out in the bush somewhere. Uh, Either way, I'm going to have to fix that. So, what do we got in? Okay, first of all, the, the little Expedition knockoff outer pouch. Hand sanitizer. The alcohol stuff, not the non-alcoholic stuff. Big lighter. I uh, I don't have a ferro rod in here um, because I took it out and I gave it to somebody who needed one for their camp kit, and I can't remember who that is right now. But you're welcome. I haven't gotten down to uh, the surplus store to get another one to replace it. Um, uh, this is like an eyeglass cleaning kit, but it's great for lenses for your camera and, uh, and whatnot. Um, so, anti-reflective lens cleaner and some cloths that are, uh, what are you, like no lint, I think they're called, whatever. So, I use that to uh, keep my glasses clean, keep my camera clean, all that kind of jazz. And, a really, really quickly thrown together first aid kit. Um, it's got some alcohol prep pads. Um, uh, benzocaine uh, towelettes, a uh, bunch of different sizes of band-aids, 
a like large for this large uh, sterile gauze pad as well as a notebook and pencil and also a uh, a little survival kit that I've had for so long I I, I couldn't even tell you uh, what exactly it is um, I, I got it for Christmas like years and years and years ago I've always had it I you know I've always kept it in my camp pack or whatever so we got a little like Gerber folding knife which you know I mean it's a knife it's useful for something I'm sure some uh, storm matches like torch matches whatever you waterproof whatever you call them a, uh, a howler whistle some cordage just I don't know whatever it's not it's not bank line it's not paracord it's you know it's just whatever then uh, some wax cord this stuff is actually pretty strong um, and then a little bit of uh, cotton a little bit of cotton batten uh, in and of itself not not really gonna do much with something like this but uh, like I say, I, I got it from Christmas uh, from my mother and father years and years ago, and I've just I've always kept it. I've always had it on me in some way, shape, or form. Uh, whenever I, you know, go into the woods. So that is that. Um, now on the outside pouch, I. Uh, We'll normally take uh, something to let people know who I am and address, phone number, next of kin, and, and sort of stuff in there. Um, I uh, I don't I don't have it in there anymore for some reason. I don't know why I took it out. I just you know it's just not there. <clears throat> okay, so there's. The camera and the tripod uh, that I'm shooting on, and uh, you know, it's, it's just like a, a Canon uh, digital SLR. Um, nothing extremely special about it, I guess. Uh, there's the battery that's in it. There's a battery here that's fully charged, and you know, I've been shooting a lot today. There's a dead battery right there, and there's the case. That it goes in. Also, I have a backup camera. I don't have a camera case for it yet. So, this camera runs on AA batteries whereas the camera I'm shooting on has its own battery packs if my my day runs long my video time you know I I run at a battery power in that I I have this to fall back on and I mean if I have to I can just run to a corner store and grab some AA batteries and come back and finish my shoot so that's that's basically what that's all about and I, uh, I I use rechargeable batteries as well so if uh, if I'm camping and I have my uh, solar panel with me which I always do when I have when I'm camping because I have my camp kit um, I can plug the batteries into a charger and use my solar panel to charge up the Canon batteries, the rechargeable AA batteries, you know, kind of whatever, so I can continue to shoot. Uh, 
you know, as long as I, as long as I'm out there, theoretically. I also have my action cams. So, they're not GoPros, but they're really similar. They're, uh, they're, you know, pretty good. Bunch of different attachments, chest rig, a, uh, little, um, tripod. Extra SD cards and micro SD cards. Attachments, um, an underwater filter for the for the waterproof case. I just slide that on and I can shoot underwater and it, it apparently makes it look better. It's you know I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Um two cameras, two rigs, pretty much two of everything, and then uh the um the remote control and extra battery. So, all told, there's actually three batteries in here uh, all together. And uh, I was actually just using that not too long ago, so that goes back in there. And yeah, those are my action cams. Charger. I know it's weird that I bring my charger into the, the bush with me, um, you know, where I'm not just going to plug it into a tree, kind of whatever, uh, but when it's not charging, it's with my camera equipment. I already lost one, I have no idea what happened to it, so now it stays in here, it stays with the camera equipment. That's, you know, that's all there is to it. I, I, I don't have a clue what happened to that stupid thing. Uh, bug spray and sunscreen. I can only handle a certain amount of sunlight. That's part of my Scandinavian heritage, I think. Just, uh... Right. 50 feet of paracord. 550 paracord. Some, uh... Bushmaster, um, sort of cheapo binoculars, nothing like super special, but uh, still, you know, might be handy if I'm, you know, like, what is that over there, have a look at it, oh, I gotta get over there and get a video of that, I mean, you know. <clears throat> a book of matches in a uh, Ziploc bag. Um, some fire sticks, um, most of the reason why they're in here is because I'm going to do a review on these at some point. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it, but I will. I definitely will. And then I'll, you know, I'll keep some in here as well. And some already charged extra batteries, AA batteries. Uh, rechargeable for the, the camera that you know that takes those double A's and then uh, you know just a few little odds and ends um, this was my grandfather's it was a you know a little knife made in Finland not really useful for much of anything that I do uh, in the woods um, but it's it's kind of a, a little good luck charm for me. Um, and my granddad used to love stuff like this. So I just, you know, I keep them with me wherever I go. Some trail tape. Or if I have to mark a trail. Some snare wire. Water purification tabs. Carabiner clip from my uh, Leatherman. Um, I don't really know why it's in here instead of in my camp kit with my Leatherman, but yeah. 
and a stick lighter. And I have a I have a couple of fire sticks in here. This one's got a sewing needle uh, stuck into it. And sort of a little spool. It's it's thread, but it's a lot stronger than thread. This stuff is really, really strong for its size. So just uh, just a few basic, you know, little odds and ends that you know, it may be useful, it might not be, it all depends on the situation you're in. Um, but it's it's there if I need it. So that's that's pretty much what I carry with me all the time. Um, if I'm going to shoot a specific video, uh, like say with those fire sticks, you know, I bring them along, throw them in there. Uh, if I need my cook kit, I'll grab that. If I need, um, say my, uh, my shovel, my tactical shovel, I'll bring that along. Um, but yeah, that's main compartment. Something that I just discovered today, actually. That is basically the internal frame part of the internal frame. It's just this one thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a buck saw blade around this size. And I'm going to tape it onto here. And then I'm going to put it back where it belongs. And I'm just going to leave it until I need it. And in the event that I happen to need a saw, I can gather up some wood, a little bit of paracord, throw myself together a buck saw, blades right in there. You know, pretty handy. Utilize the space you got, right? I also want to get like a little canteen cook set for in here. That, that would be nice. All right. Now, I keep a Ziploc bag with a bunch of uh, large, heavy-duty garbage bags. That could be a rain poncho. That could be a um, cover for my uh, my backpack. Uh, you know, if it's pouring rain, I don't want my camera equipment getting messed up, so it could be that. Um, or it could be a shelter. I, I could make shelter with these things. So, and, you know, like I say, if I'm planning on doing a video on something, I, you know, throw it in there as well. Well, I plan on doing a video about this, the next rainstorm we get. Um, that's that Instafire. Um, supposed to burn it like a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, get a fire going in any, any situation, any condition. So next rainstorm we get, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do that. So that's, that's what I got. That's, you know, I mean, other than something that I put in there, specialized equipment wise or whatever, you know, that I'm, I'm planning on doing, uh, that's, that's what I carry with me pretty much all the time. So, not the most exciting video I ever shot, but, uh, hey, maybe, maybe somebody enjoyed it. I don't know. And it gave me something to do other than, you know, go home. So that's, uh. That's that. I, I hope somebody enjoyed it. You know, why not? Um, I, I'm going to get out of here now. But, uh, hey, you never know. Maybe I'll run into you in the woods sometime. If not, I'm sure I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.